All right, let's recap heat number seven as we get ready to start with heat number eight. First and second place in the seventh heat go to Jerry Hemingway who drove number 14 and Tim Baker who drove the 88. Josh Mashter who drove the green slimy number 81 was selected as the heavy hitter. This is the first heat of the evening program under sunny skies. Well, hard to believe, Rick. Jamie Dustin driving number 62. Greg Dustin driving number 63. Both of those drivers are from Malone. Robert Kennedy from Wiggletown in the 110. Colby Rowley from Plattsburgh in the 20. Tanya, Tanya Goucher from Plattsburgh in the 72. John Laundry in the 11. Josh Mashter in the 80. George Dupel in the 100. He's from Rouse's Point. Nick Haywood, one of your fellow competitors in the Renegade Division at Airborne. He's yeah, driving he, number 29. He's way over there in the big old Cadillac with Garrett mm -hmm. and Sanitation on it. Lawrence Mitchell, number 44. He's from Peru, as is Nick. And the 11th and final car scheduled for this heat is Joe Stone from Plattsburgh. He's driving number 76. I don't know, Rick, if I'd want to be in that 76 car. That's awful small compared to that Cadillac he's backed up to. <laughs> Get a shot, Gene, of the 76 facing off against the 80. Boy, that doesn't seem fair. No, that's a heavyweight against a lightweight. It looks like the 76 has already got uh, some smoke coming out from under the hood. Yeah, it looks like you're starting to overheat already. There's the 110A of Robert Kennedy pulling into place. There's an old car with the pipes coming out of the hood. That's the 62 for Jamie Dustin. He's one of the Malone contingent. 63. Both those cars, Danny, look like they've been through the demolition uh, events before? Yeah, they look like they spent some time at the fair before. Either that or they raced in the Mini Modifieds last night at Airborne. One or the other. That's what I wanted to see, the 76 and the 80. Look at that 80, just push the 76. Into the 110. 76 getting sandwiched between the 110 of Kennedy and the 80 of Ashter. Did you notice the color of that number 80? Pink. One of your favorites, a pink Cadillac. Pink Cadillac. Oh look, the tail light still works. Yeah, the tail light, he just got into the 110. Oh, another hard hit from the 80 to the 72. That 80 looks indestructible. Here comes Nick Haywood, ready to lay a hit on the 11. The Malone boys are doing good on, on at the left end of the field. Pink Cadillac is overheating a little bit. <laughs> An event like this is a chiropractor's dream. They'll be busy tomorrow. <laughs> Not much left at the back end of Joe Stone's number 76. No, we didn't think that one was going to last long. Here goes the front end. Oh! What 10 got him? Look at the 11 and the 80. Oh, 
Don Laundry doing a good job of pushing that pink caddy back. Oh, Nick Haywood just gave a shot to the 76. The number 20 car is looking still pretty good. Oh, they just sandwiched the 76. Nick and the 80 car. Nick Haywood may be stuck. He's trying to got get that 29 going. No, he got it off the front end. Oh, Nick Hayward gets head on. Gets hit with that number 80. That'll be very interesting if it comes down to those two cars at the end. I'm betting on the number 20 myself. This front end not a bit, hasn't been touched yet. That's Colby Rowley for Plattsburgh in the 20. Cadillac laying on a nice hit. Forty-four of Lawrence Mitchell still going strong down in front of us. Look at the exhaust on that! Look at the flame shoot out. <laughs> that looked like the Green Mamba last night. I was just going to say that. I couldn't think of the name of it. <laughs> There it goes. I'm glad that's coming out the front and not the back. Yeah. Be like you ate at Taco Bell or something. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that flame shootout. The Blue Mamba. John Mashed here in the pink caddy, number 80. Going at it with Tanya Goucher in the 72. 20 also, the rolling number 20. The caddy not looking nearly as good as it did earlier on. No, it's not, but can't see the number of the orange car. I think it's 62. He just gave him a hard hit there. Looks like the 110 is going to get a run. Jamie Dustin in the 62 has worked his way into the middle. He's going at it with the 80 of Josh Mashter. Big hit by the 20. I think Nick Haywood's number 29 may be out of it. Oh, hard hit by the 80 on the 63. Oh, we got steam coming out of the 63. He took a shot in the nose. I didn't see who hit him, Rick, the 63. I think it was the black car, 110, I think it was. That is Colby Rowley. No, that was Robert Kennedy. I'm sorry, from Wiggletown. Rowley's in the 20. Goucher's still going in the 72. The 110 for Kennedy. You know, if they wanted to, they could probably do this on Church Street in front of Nadine's and still get a heck of a crowd. Oh, yeah, definitely. This looks like Christmas parking at the mall. Looks like they're ganging up on the 20 car now. The 72 of John Laundry. There it goes. Five cars still running. The 110 for Kennedy. The 80 for Mash Terror. The 72 for Goucher. Dustin's 63. And Raleigh's 20. The pink Cadillac is still in this trick.
Still five of them going strong. Nobody's dropped out from those last five we mentioned. You see more and more smoke billowing out of that 80 car from Ashton here, the pink caddy. He's been brutal on that front end. 20 car don't look so pretty anymore. At 63 for Dustin, just looks like it will not die. The 60 and 80 doing a little bit of pushing back and forth. Kennedy's 110, smoke billowing out of the front, but he's still got it running. One Ted still running the 80 to 63. 72 and 20 are still going at it. We are down to four. Seventy-two of Tanya Goucher, the sixty-three, Greg Dustin, raised from Malone, the eighty of Josh Mashter, and the twenty for Colby Rowley. The twenty looks like he's playing a little bit of height. Gotta love that pipe through the hood. Looks like the final two are gonna be the 72 and the 80. Tanya Goucher. It's over. Josh Mashter. The pink Cadillac. The crowd will pick the winner between the 72 and the 80. We're gonna have to pick a best of show. All right, let's review heat number eight. Top two cars, the 72 of Tanya Goucher and the 80 of Josh Mashter. Heavy hitter went to the 63 for Greg Dustin. This is heat number nine. It's the eight cylinder cars back out of the track. Tommy Bishaw's 49 from beautiful downtown Wiggletown. Jeremy Garso from Beekman Town in the 86. Eli Bishaw Jr. in the 93. Butch Lemire in the 57. Joey St. Mary in the 59, and pinch hitting for Jamie St. Mary in the 45. As it turned out, from that first heat of the afternoon with that huge hit between Jamie St. Mary and Tommy Bishaw, cracked ribs for Jamie St. Mary, so he won't be driving tonight. Paul Richards will be taking his place. The big 357 Magnum, that's Curtis Seymour. And Eric Stoll out of Bombay, New York, drives a 96. I'm glad you could read that writing. I write like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad about Jamie St. Mary getting knocked out in that crash. He's a hard hitter, good demo guy. Eight cars ready to go in this one. There you see that 86 car for Garso. That was one of the best of show winners earlier on today. Chrysler Imperial, look at that. Yeah, that thing looks beautiful. Told you, you should have brought your checkbook. You probably could have gone home with five or six of these. They're getting together already.
86 isn't getting any traction already, right? Last car to pull into place will be the Joey St. Mary, number 59. Again, Paul Richards pinch hitting for Jamie St. Mary, driving the 45. 45 and the 59 look like they've already uh, visited a couple demos before. We have two more heats to follow. They are both four cylinders. Then we'll have a couple of Concies and the two feature events. There we go. Oh, head on with the 57 and the 96. Butch Lemire's 57 and the 96 for Eric Stoll. Look out, Bishaw! Oh, hard Brilliant. hit! Tommy Bishaw! We talked to him during the break. He says he's a little sore, but nonetheless, ready to go. Tommy's a tough guy. He'll be all right. Curtis Seaboard Jr. is doing pretty good out there now. 357. Got somebody lined up again? No, they back out of the way. It's always oh. smart to avoid that 49 when you have the chance. No, here he comes. The number 86 isn't so pretty anymore. Piling into the back end of the Garso 86. Now he gets hit in the rear end from Richards. There's Kurt Seymour in the 357. He and Butch Lemire have been going at it. There goes Curtis Jr. Hard hit, coming, 86, gets it in the back by the 49. 49, that's Tommy Bishaw. Curtis Seymour Jr. gets it into the 49. 86 is driven by Jeremy Garson of Beatman Town. For the most part, these drivers have done a, a good job at avoiding the big hits. Yeah, this is... I'm keeping my eye on the 49, because I think he's due for a big one. Here he comes! Oh, head on with the 59. Look out, look out! 
Oh, no, collision! There goes the Imperial! He's smoking now! Another head-on collision! More mud! More mud! Listen to that more for power! Woo! Red Maybe. flag! We got a fire! We got a fire in the 57! Butch, Butch Lemire! Butch's car is cooking underneath. Fire department coming out to take care of that. Got it refired. Yeah, no. Yeah. Literally, he's got it refired. Yeah, literally. Butch is going to hop out of that car. That's a heartbreaker because Butch is always a good one. Listen to the horsepower. V8 American Metal. Look at that. Looks like a 1960 dragster with a plane's coming out of there. There we Here go. There they go. Hard hit from Beach out of Seymour. Shaw looks like he's lining up his next victim over there. Smoke pouring out of the front. Oh, yeah. Curtis Seymour Jr. lining, some, lining up the 86. Kurt Seymour's 357 still going strong. The 86 for Jeremy Garso. Tommy B. Shaw's 49. Joey St. Mary's 59. Those are the four cars out of the eight that started that are still running. Bishaw gets into Seymour. Bishaw and Seymour have been waging their own little battle while St. Mary and Garso have been going at it. They picked the perfect place to do battle right in front of our camera. Right in front. Watching the monitor at times, it looks like they're coming right into your living room. I can imagine watching this on a 60-inch screen. Oh, this would be... Surround sound? You <laughs> can hear that Mopar just scream. Look at the flames shooting out of that. Black smoke, though. Oh, look, it's got MSM on there for MSM Sports on the 357. Unless that stands for Mr. Sir Midget, not a review. <laughs> it could. 
Could they miss the Sir Midget? Yeah, that's true. These four cars seem undestructible. They may be going on forever. We want to thank Weasel Bruno, who's now in charge of the 2009 Clinton County Fair Demolition Derby, for inviting us to take part in this year's event. Weasel and his staff doing a fine job. Oh, I believe the 49 has given up the ghost. Tommy's trying to get it refired. St. Mary trying to position his car to get a good hit. The 86, and I believe that's Kurt Seymour Jr. still going in the 357. We're down to three. Joey St. Mary in the 59, Jeremy Garso the 86, Kurt Seymour the 357. Smoke really starting to pour out of Seymour's car now. He is trying to lift that one home. Oh, I think St. Mary's car is stalled. It did. St. Mary is on the clock. Oh, he got, got it going. going. You hear the Malone fans in the grandstand oh, roar yeah. on that one. They roared when it, that baby refired. Oh, St. Mary stalled again. Gene showing us a good look at what he's doing, trying to get that car restarted. So far, without success. Oh, we got a yellow flag. We got a fire. We got St. Mary on the clock. Seymour is running, Garso is running, and St. Mary is running! Yeah, they, the Malone fans go right to their, right to their feet, you hear the scream. I don't want to buy that 86 anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think 86 might be in trouble. Could we interest you in another Imperial, perhaps the 57? No, that's okay. Oh. Yep, the 86. He's got it. It's Garcel, Jeremy Garcel beat Midtown. I thought it fired for a second. He's trying to get it refired. He got it! It's okay. over! All right, let's recap heat number eight. Top two cars. Joey St. Mary's 59, Curtis Seymour Jr.'s 357. The heavy hitter was Jeremy Garso in number 86. This is heat number 10. One more to go after this, followed by two Consies and the two features. This is one of the uh, four cylinder heats for tonight. Jason Seymour driving the seven. Eric Garso from Big Town in the 87. Terry Reno from Keysville in the 52. Francis Reno from Keysville in the 37. Randy Martin, that's Gilligan. He's from Keysville in the 77. Corey Seymour from Plattsburgh in the 73. Vern Rivers in the 27. Bill McNamara in the zero, he's from West Jay-Z. Mark Ashline in the 65. Todd Ashline in the 16. 
Mark Wells in the 66, Junior Ledoux in the 67. Zach Mason, you know him, he's from Peru in oh, the 71. Oh, that's, yeah, that's Zach Mason, that's Zach from Myrtle Beach. <laughs> Jim Rowe in the 70, Anthony Provost from the 74. Chico Martino, he's Chico, from Wiggletown. Chico, Wiggletown. The 43, Bill Joyle, the 57, he's from Osable. Yep. I'll bet he didn't do a lot of vinyl for this day. I don't think so, Bill, I don't think he'll do it on this one. And Jesse Mashter in the 98. Those are the 17 cars that are scheduled to go in this 10th heat. The sun has gone down, the lights are on, it's getting a little bit cooler, and it's now quite comfortable here at our yeah. trackside location. This is actually real comfortable. No rain, Rick. We're not getting wet. The mud could still hit us. What is that on top of that green car over there? I think he's got crabs. <laughs> That's Bill Joyle's car. I think Bill's got crabs. <laughs> Either that or a very large dog. I think it's a scorpion. Hey, I see my name again. It's on the side of the 77. There it is, Mighty Midget. Holy cow. He loves me. Hey, there's Gene's name. Wow. Gene and the Midget, what a pair. What a pair. <laughs> Sounds like a comedy duel. <laughs> Gene's about 6'3 and weighs 300. Danny's about 4'2 and weighs 125. I wish I weighed 125. Looks like we're about ready to go. 21, or 17 cars rather. Ready to go, we've got uh, 14 to go in the next one. Good crowd here tonight. Look at the crowd in the background. Standing room only. As it always is for the Clinton County Fair. Here we Center. go. Hit by the 16. Bill Joyle in the 57 really putting on a hitting in the middle. More lime green, Danny. Oh, hard hit right in front of us. Chico Martin, I think it was. Goes to the 43 as always. That's the man to watch. Oh, another hard hit by the 87 to the 66. And Zach from Myrtle Beach just got a good hit on. These four cylinders as loud as the eight. <laughs> Big pile up. Chico is in it. 87 is in it. Yeah, the good one. Jason Seymour with a good hit in that seven car also. Oh, Chico! Chico's right on top of the hood of the 87. Oh, look at what it says on the side of Chico's car. He's got a message for Gilligan. Dagger Martin, beware!
Oh, Martin's out of this, I believe. Middle of the racetrack starting to get blocked. It's going to be very difficult for the cars working down to our left to get down to the right. Now the 71 car actually fired up. That's your buddy, Zach Mason. Yeah, Zach from Myrtle. We call him Zach from Myrtle Beach. Mason. Myrtle Beach Mason's ain't hard out there. It's a long way to travel for a demolition derby. No, he's not really from Myrtle Beach. Oh. <laughs> In his mind, he is. I can't tell you the hall name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hard hit from, I believe it was number... Double team, the Seymour 73. And the 98 of Mash there, That's teaming 98, up. 98, yeah, he hit. On Ash Line 16. There's bumper covers all over the place. Oh, 98 This looks like a deranged bomber feature at the airport. Seven still running. Chico's down at the other end. He's still going. Zach Mace is still going. Oh, here we go. Oh, hard hit. On the seven, onto the 71. That's Zach from Myrtle Beach. I remember. Yeah, Zach from Myrtle Beach. Here we go again. Number seven is... If he gets, keeps getting hit like that, he's going to want to move to Cleveland. <laughs> the number seven B is... Uh, Jason Seymour, he keeps hammering the 71. Old Zach still going strong in that 71, Danny. That car won't die. And Chico Martin, I still see his 43s running. Oh, we got one of these steaming out there, 27. I think you found a new job when you retire from racing as a motorsports analyst. I love this. Who needs Rusty Wallace and Dale Jarrett when they can get Danny Dubuque, the mighty midget? Yes, and Rick Knowles. Problem I'm having is I'm having too much fun watching this to actually talk about it. Yeah, it's real tough to try to talk and watch at the same time. I can't even chew gum and walk at the same time. There's about seven cars left. Chico still going strong in the 43, as is Jason Seymour. Zach from Myrtle Beach. Yeah, he's still, look at his front end on that car. It's not even touched. Did he plan it that way or was it by accident? Probably by accident. All the action is down to our right.
Oh, the 87 just pinned. I believe it was the number 74 gets the wall. Eric Garso's in the 87. The 74 is Anthony Provost. And Beekman Town versus Wiggletown. Number seven is still running. I can see him going up. He goes back for Myrtle Beach. He finally got a dent in the nose. Not a lot of room to move for these last four or five cars that are still running. Joyles 57 is going, as is the 87. Chico would think he's going to get a run. You can't, he's out of the our shop, or off to the side. I think this is going to be. Here comes Chico. Oh, there's no speed out there now. I thought Chico was actually going down there to get a run on somebody, but he slowed up as he joined the fray. Well, the track is so choppy right now. You think Steve Fuller would let him try this in the new pavement at Airborne? Oh, my. You see Steve Fuller pull out whatever hair he has left. <laughs> Uh oh, Zach from Myrtle Beach is about to get ready. Uh, I think he's gonna get Chico nice. Oh yeah. Yes he does. Fifty-seven of Joyo, he's really doing good. Eighty-seven is really steaming. Seventy four still running. The seven B is trying to get it running. While this is going on that you're watching down to our left, there's still a good battle going on between the seventy one of Zach from Myrtle Beach and Chico Martino. They got a battle going on to Yeah, there they are, pushing each other back. Chico's going to bring Zach to school, I think. Uh, you mentioned just a couple of minutes ago, no front end damage on the 71. Take a look at that car now. That's all he's got left. Oh, Zach just took it from the rear. <laughs> and I think he liked it. <laughs> Seventy-four of Anthony Provost, the forty-three of Chico Martino, and the seventy-one. Here of comes Zach eighty-seven Mason. to get into this. Joyo's car has given up the ghost, but here comes the eighty-seven to seventy-one. Chico's still going strong. So that group of four that was, or the group of five that was contesting it, down to our right. Have now moved down to our left and it's down to four. They're all over the place. Oh, Joyo's running again. He's gonna try to get down there. Joyo wants to know where everybody went. Oh, he's coming this way. Go get him, Bill. Bill Joyle got a feature win at Airborne Speedway just a couple of weeks ago. It was his first career victory. So we are still with five cars running, although the 74 having problems getting restarted. The car is running, but it will not get into gear. The 71 and the 43 have been going at it. 
They have, had, they have had a mini battle going on for about the last 10 minutes. Yeah, it's been. Then those other two guys are Bill Joyal and I can't see the other car. I think it's 87. They decided yep. to join them. There's the mighty midget. Hey! Not too much damage on me. Randy might give you a good deal on that car later. You could drive that home. No, that's okay. I got a way home. <laughs> There's Mean Gene. Mean Gene, the video machine man. Chico Martino, a demo. He's been doubling forever. He's going up against Zach Mason, Zach's first demo derby. And Bill, like you said, yeah, Bill got a feature win, what, two weeks ago? How come is Chico's in an escort, and they won't last on the road, <laughs> but you can put them in a demo and they last for the whole thing. <laughs> I had one of those things, that they get blue more head gaskets. It's probably one of the only Fords that you've never raced. Yeah. You didn't race an escort before? No, I never raced one, I drove one on the road. I had more fun walking than I did driving that thing. <laughs> <laughs> This battle wages on between now down to four. They've officially eliminated the 74 of Anthony Provost. The 87 car has got to be giving up the go. No, he's still going. Chico's working on him now while Joyle and Zach from Myrtle Beach continue to. Zach from Myrtle Beach. I can't say it as good as you can. I got a lot of practice. Okay. <laughs> That smiley face on Bill Joyo's car don't look so happy. <laughs> <laughs> but he's still got a bit of a smile. Yeah. It's turning into a smirk, though. <laughs> well, Joyo trying to get that refired. It's pretty silent over there. Yeah, look I at the nose. I only hear a couple. Look at the nose of Chico Martino's car. That, look how clean that nose is. Watch when he comes back. Behind the other car. Chico's just waiting. The other car that's still running. Zach Mace is still going. Yes. Look at that car in the 87 is still going. Uh oh, where's Chico? Here he comes. Look at the nose of Chico's car. I hear Chico's 43. I hear one of the other. Oh, no, I hear both of them. They are both running again. Uh oh, Zach might be stuck. It says ram it, he's getting rammed. Yeah. Well, better on the front, well, I won't say it. <laughs> Chico's still going at it, but protect. He may sandwich both of them in. Really no room for Garso to go forward in the 87. Not much room for uh, no, Zach. Zach to move either. He's gotta get in between those and get out of there like he is there. Did you teach him these moves? No, no. You said this was his first demo? First demo, yeah. He's driving like a long time veteran. No, I did a demo here years ago. The only thing I did was stay in the middle and did donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Being that I'm height impaired, I couldn't see over the steering wheel. I can't believe that 87 car is still going. Look at that thing. That really looks like it's on its last legs. It goes for about two or three feet and oh, then putters he, out. He might be done. I don't see any movement in him. So it might be between Zach and Chico. Zach who? Zach from Myrtle Beach. <laughs> The story of it is he came back from Myrtle Beach and I asked him where he's been. I said, he goes, I've been at Myrtle Beach. <laughs> so I called him Zach from, he didn't say that. Up in Myrtle Beach. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. All right, let's recap heat number 10 for you. 
Jason Seymour, the heavy hitter. Zach Mason and Chico Martino come home in the top two spots. We are down to our 11th and final heat before we have two consies. Here are the scheduled participants. The number 85 is Richard Cookie from Plattsburgh. Curtis Seymour Jr. in the 357. Cody Agony from Peru in the 51. Justin Hathaway from E-Town in the 92. Brad Hathaway in the 91, he's from Plattsburgh. Adam Stickle from Saranac in the 53. Brittany Mashtair from Wiggletown in the 13. Jesse Mashtair from Wiggletown in the 98. Randy Ducharm from Rouse's Point in the 514. Josh Fountain from Plattsburgh in the 101. Jason McClatchy from downtown Wiggletown in the 70. Sean Bennett from Saranac in the 51. Dave Hart from Plattsburgh in the 83. And Gerald Goucher from Plattsburgh in the 84. Those look, are the 14 cars. Look and Danny, what look color. here, look what's on camera. Pink, Pink. purple, and just about and it says oops. green. I was looking at Jason McClutchy's car, it's pink. That's Brittany Mash there. That's one of your favorites. Yeah. I see Adam Sticklers in this from Santa. I think that's the stick we call him. It's the same Adam that I know. I can't believe McClatchy's got a pink car. Gene said he's put a neon green partner on that car. There he is. Oh, I see him. Gene has demanded that back because he can't go to bed without it. <laughs> the 13 of Brittany, she's already starting to smoke a little bit. Here we go. Oh, hard hit in front of us. Wow, the 85 took a... Kennedy's keeping his eye on Brittany again. We got Curtis Seymour in the 357. I, I can't believe somebody's doubling that number 85. Look how small that car is. Is that a Metro? Look out! Oh, head on between the 257 and Brittany. Seymour just got a shot in the rear door. There goes the pink McClutchy mobile. Curtis Seymour lining them up. Here comes McClatchy on the goes move McClatchy. to 70. Oh, they end up hitting the wall harder than they hit the car. Hopefully the teddy bear survives. Oh, hard oh, yeah. hit! Hard hit to the back end of Brittany again. Oh, mud! We got some mud! Rick's covering her up. Oh, I saw that. That's Seymour who did that. You wait till next week at Airborne, he's going to hear about that. Brittany just again rams up. 257, Curtis Seymour Jr. We've been fortunate. We haven't actually swallowed any of the mud yet. That's true. At and least I know I haven't. I don't know about you. It might be some horse poop in it. I don't want to eat it. Oh, Brittany 
Got it again for the front. Who's driving the 53? He's in a Hyundai. Adam Stickler. The clutch you missed everybody. <laughs> There's that 70 car for McClatchy. Team Pink. from the Gene 91. Got Gene got that oh, just in time. 51C just bonsai. 91 of Brad Hathaway laying the hammer on the 514 of Randy Ducharme. McClutchy giving it to the 51C. And the Brittany. Here's Andrew Curtis Seymour Jr. The Gene. bullet. McClatchy trying to put an end to the afternoon or the evening of uh, Brittany Mashter. McClutchy gonna get a steam. Had a steam. Here he comes. This is gonna be good. Oh! Good ramming by Jason McClutchy. Oh, that bent the back of that Buick. And Brittany's in an escort. There's you mentioned before, they'll die on the road. They won't die in the derby. <laughs> oh, hard hit from the 51C. Uh oh. Oh, 91. Brad Hathaway has Brad been Hathaway pounding people out there. Subaru. I think it's a Subaru. It looks like a Subaru. We had a Subaru in the Spectator racing at Airborne last Saturday night. Jason McClatchy. Hard hit to the. Volkswagen. Brittany is still going in the 13. Oh, we got a fire, I believe, under the 53. We got a fire, it looks like. Yep. Or is that exhaust? No, oh, just exhaust, unburnt gas. Oh, Brittany just got it from the rear again. And again. Yes, that would be double penetration. <laughs> Well, at least you waited till eight eleven, folks. <laughs> What's the matter, Rich? You look a little blushed. <laughs> it says, "Hey, Gene. hey, Gene! Look at the pink teddy bear or green That's teddy what Gene bear." Sleeps with at night. Yeah. Brittany's still going strong, McClatchy's going strong, the Hathaway 91, the 51C, Cody Brittany. Agony. That 51's hitting hard. We're down to four, it looks like. 
91's another hard hitter. 91's been hammering everybody. If he doesn't make the top two, he's gonna get my vote for the heavy hitter, but I'm not the only one that votes. Between me, it's between 91 and 51, because they've been hitting hard. So has a Jason McClatchy. Yep, all four of these cars that have been still running have put a pounding on their fellow competitors. Brittany's having problems getting the 13 refired. Now nah, she's got it going, but that's what she tough actually escort. Moved? He's like they're double team in the 51. Clatchy in the 70, Hathaway in the 91, both working on the Cody Agony 51. That, Cody Brittany Agony. has worked herself free. Yep, she's worked herself free. Oh, this, oh, hard hit from the 91. He's gonna feel that in the morning. Well, the 91 of Hathaway is still running, as 50. is the 51. Yep, 51 is still running. I think McClatchy has got it. He's got it going. Yep. Head on! I think it's pretty safe to say the one of these two that doesn't move on, one of the three rather, will be our hardest hitter. Looks like the 91 and the 70 is double teaming 51. Oh, 51's done. He just waved his hand. It's over! We'll just read them as they're going. All right, let's recap the final heat before we get into our first Conti of the evening. The top two finishers, Brad Hathaway and Jason McClatchy, and the heavy hitter award went to Cody Agony. Cody looked very happy to get the heavy hitter award, Rick. He wants one of those Budweiser coolers that the heavy hitters are getting. We got Sean Fountain, we see him out there. Nick Hayward's out there. Eli B. Shaw's 93 is out there. Got more cars coming down. We got the 45 out there. The 44, that's uh, I know him too, I can't think of his name. That 45 is Terry Gatto Jr. That's right. He's from Plattsburgh. Just a matter of looking over our old charts to match up the numbers. The other 45, that's a St. Mary, if I remember. Yeah, Saint, that's one of the cars that St. Mary was driving, but remember, he got hurt that's in that right. first heat. Yep. And that's right, So he was pinch hit for by Paul, Paul Rich Richards. Paul Richards, yep. I don't know how he ended up with two 45s, though. That is true. Under different drivers, perhaps because one is a four-cylinder and the others are eight-cylinders. That certainly would make sense. The number two car pulling into spot, Tyler Warren. That car is in nice shape. At least that's one of the twos that we have. The 11. Like the 11 backing in. The number 20 is out here.
11 is John Laundry from Plattsburgh. All right, ready to go. Concy number one. We've got Looks like 16 cars ready to go. They've all been through battle once. Here we all go. Try to move on. Eli Bichon's 93 did not want to go. There's the 29 of Nick Haywood. Nick Haywood away. giving it to the 34. That's 64 Galaxy Wagon. Here Look comes out. Nick. Sean Fountain with a big hit. Oh. Eli Bishaw with a big what hit. What a hit from Eli Bishaw. So the 44 alone. Mitchell. Sean Fountain. Gets a hit on Lawrence Mitchell. I don't think you want to pick on that 44 car. I don't think so. I think that 44 is just a power. Woo! Dirt! <laughs> Mud. Haywood. Sandwich between the 17. And I missed the other car. Rick Storm Clay back at the Devil Drivers. Here comes that 44 car. You could hear that car coming through the pack. There's a flame thrown out of the hood of that. The Evil Eye Beat Shot continuing to do battle down to our left. Laying on the hits on that pile of cars to our left. Now Eli trying to pull away from that. He may have gone in a little bit too hard. He may be stuck. Oh, a hard hit from Lawrence Mitchell. I couldn't see the car because it's... 17. Here goes Eli. Hard hit to Lord Mitchell's back bumper. Mitchell and Bishaw, two of the guys dishing out a lot of punishment in this one. Oh, Bishaw hits. I believe that was Nick Haywood on the nose. It was indeed. There's nothing wrong with the front end of that 93 car. This is the second demo he's been through tonight. Eli has kept that nose clean. So now. <laughs> you hear that Mopar screaming. It's amazing the hits that he is fishing out with the front end of that car, not to have damaged it. I didn't hear a word you said, Rick. <laughs> These That's... eight cylinder cars are making a lot of noise and making it very difficult for us to hear each other. Yeah. That... But what I said was it was amazing that Bishaw has done such a good job keeping the front end of that car clean with all the hits he's dishing out with the front end. Yeah, it's incredible how that nose is held up.
Head on with a 45. Richards and Eli Bishaw. Here comes the 44. Oh, 17. Just cream the back end off of that. He's still going. Trying to refire that 17 car, not looking good. They're trying to refire the other Mopar with the stacks. I can't see the number. But that 44 might be hung up. He is. He's got somebody hooked. Forty-five is still going. Look at Bishaw's car. That thing is. Bishaw and Richards at the other end. It's Mitchell, Lawrence Mitchell, I believe. That left front wheel in the 93, not wanting to turn. Maybe the end of the night for Eli Bishaw. It might. I'll tell you right now, on the right hand of the track, here comes Lawrence Mitchell in that 44, and that car looks. Somebody else is still running, but I can't see it. Here he comes. Looks like we're down to three. There's one more at the other end, Rick. He's coming down. Number 18, that car's... King gives a shot to the number 44, Lawrence Mitchell. The 45 car appears to be stuck. He's not moving. B. Shaw's 93 makes another hit. I can't figure out what's keeping the 18 alive. The Mitchell 44 still going strong. Mitchell's 44 looks to be the strongest car out there right now. And he's getting a run. That 18 car may be toast right now. Yeah, yeah here comes Mitchell. Here comes Mitchell. Hard hit right in front of us, Rick. He almost pushed him into Gene's lap on that one. Now he's pulling them. They're hooked. This could be what Bishaw needs. They are hooked pretty good. Here comes Bishaw. He's lining them up. That is some power in that 44. He's pulling that car. He's going after him. He's going after him, pulling another car. 
Unbelievable. Is it over? Look at the flames. Oh, Bishaw's car might be in trouble. Look at the black smoke pouring out of it. Oh, he's, a, he's free. 18 is still running. We're waiting right now, Rick. Right? See who's... Eli trying to refire that 93 car. Look at the black smoke. Looks like an old train. <laughs> Sounds like a Johnny Cash song. <laughs> Eli Bishaw on the clock. And it's, it's over. over. They waited. Wait till start up, start up once they're going, and I'll just read them off as we're going. All right, this is the four-cylinder Concy, 27 cars scheduled to go. Here they are. Zach Seymour is 48. James Sayward, 15. Shane Agnew with the 69. Spencer Branch in the 22. Josh Fountain, the 101. Josh Blake, the 2. Jason Branham, the 41. Jason Seymour, the 7. Sean Bennett, the 51. Jason Spooner, the 34. Norman Baker, the 19. Corey Seymour, the 73. Gilligan, Randy Martin in the 77. Richard Cookie, the 187. The Triple X for Josh Doss. Jeremy Seymour, the 73. Bird Rivers, the 27. Dave Hart, the 83. Anthony Provost, the 74. Mark Ashline, the 65. Gerald Goucher, the 84. Curtis Seymour, the 357. Jim Rowe, the 70. Adam Stickle, the 53. Justin Hathaway, the 92. Shannon Carter in the 67, and Danny Dubuque's favorite, Brittany Mashchair in the 13. There has been some heavy hitting in this one, Rick. The number Carnage everywhere. Everywhere, that 73, I, it's been hitting hard out there. Like on the 73 to the 74. Fifteen looks like she's ready to blow. Remember, all of these cars have been through battle once already today. And some of them are just taking one hit and calling it a night. But on the other hand, there are many of them, Danny, still going strong and putting on a pounding. Some of these guys are hitting super hard. The temperatures have cooled down. These motors are running better. You can, ah, some more mud. Oh, bugs. Look at that 19 car, that thing is flattened. Seventy still running, the 83. Oh, 19 on the right of us just flattened his nose. Look at that car. There's Brittany in the purple escort.
Oh, another head-on collision with the 7N. 187, I believe. There's the 19 car, flat at both ends, still going. Eighty-three is still running. Eighty-three is David Hart. The sixty-five is really just banging people around over the right-hand side. Norm Bacon, the 19, that car is flat. Mark Ashline driving the 65. I think Mark Ashline's day has come to an end. Look at the smoke billowing out of that Oh, car. we got a fire, we got a fire. Red flag. Right down there in front of us. That's and the, it's 19. Norm Baker's car, you knew I had to come to an end sooner or later. Oh, he had Bart Simpson on the hood. Bart got a bloody nose out of that one. Now we're being invaded by mosquitoes. Yep. Clinton County killer mosquitoes. <laughs> oh, we got more a, fire. Yep, more fire on the 19. Bart's hot. Look at Bart standing on his head. He <laughs> looks the same either way. Either way. <laughs> Red flag is... We're still not ready to go. Is another car maybe getting hot down there? Oh, I believe somebody just jumped out of their car. And they're off. And 65 is still running, I don't believe it. Look at the 83 car, that car has hardly any damage. What do you give a hundred bucks for that when we're done? The guys at Airborne would love that, it's a neon. <laughs> oh, 65, you're right, Rick, he is a hard hitter. 73 is still going. 48. There he is. Sixty-five. Mark Ashline. Oh, the double team at somebody. Forty-eight. Oh, I thought there was another one with him. Yeah, there he is. Seventy-three. My name was on the back of that seventy-three card. I've been rubbed out. <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only thing left of me is the Mighty, M. Mighty M. <laughs> you lost your engine. <laughs> yeah. Gene is okay. Oh, hard hit for the 73. Oh, I still got the Mighty. There's no more midget. Zach Seymour in the 48. 73 is Jeremy Seymour. The 83 of David Hart is still running. With that neon, that car looks good. Here comes the 48 trying to crash his way through. Look out. Oh, sandwiched. A Seymour sandwich. 
Heavy smoke bellowing out of one of those cars. They're all in a pile. It's hard to tell. I think that's Zach Seymour. He's 48. Oh, another hard hit on the neon. The 83 and the 73 is going at it. 65 is kind of trapped. Oh, he's got somebody here. I can't make out the number on this white blue car. Forty-eight is still going. Eighty-three. Seventy-three. Sixty-five. Sixty-five is still going. Looks like we're down to four, perhaps five. I can't see the number on this car here. So we, there was sixty-five. This gave him another shot. Could the 83 finally be dying? 65, that thing runs forever. Oh, he missed. No, he got him. That 65 continues to hit everything in sight for Mark Ashline. Yeah, he's been ramming with the front. I can't see the number on the car that's right in front of him. I think they heard that in Bigman Town. Wow! That's what you call busticated. Another hard hit by the 73. There's nothing left in the back end of the 73. I believe that is a triple X of Jeremy Doss, or Josh Doss. That's what number I can't understand. It's because it's not a number. It's not a number. That's why I can't see it. That car is beat. We may be down to two. Doss is still running. 73 and the 83. And the triple X is still moving. He may be hung up though. Yeah. There you get a good shot of the 83. 83 car. taking his. I want to take your helmet off. David, keep your helmet on. It's over. 73 and the 83. All right, we're ready to go. The six and eight cylinder feature. Danny Dubuque has been taken away from us to take over from Weasel Bruno, who has been doing an outstanding job as the announcer all day long. Unfortunately, Weasel has lost his voice. So Danny Dubuque is now the track announcer. Rob Knowles pinch hitting for us here. And Rob, give us the list of the drivers for this one. All right, thanks Rick. Some of these guys may not make the call. Driving the 45A, Paul Richard. In the 53M, Chris Musso. The 49 of Tom Bishop. As we have a big wreck right now, the 93. Back to the list, the 88 defending champion, Tim Baker. The double zero of Harold Garrett Jr. 43 of Chico Martino. Four, John Rondo. 40, Kenny St. Germain. 357, Curtis Seymour Jr. The 420, Justin K.A. The 82 of Bill McNamara. 53 of Rob Foley. 54 of Nicole Guerin. 49B, Tom Bischoff. The 58 of Wayne LaRock. 80 of John Mashtair, 72 of Tanya Goucher, 63 of Greg Dustin, 59 Joey St. Mary, 357 Curtis Seymour Jr., and the 86 of Jeremy Garso. So obviously, a couple names are repeats in this, so we will not see both cars out there.
some heavy hitting going on in the early stages of this main event. This is for the championship for the six and eight cylinder cars. They will continue until they were they are down to one. The big bucks are on the line for this one. The defending champion is Tim Baker. He's in this one in number 88. There's Chico Martino in the 43. He's one of the favorites coming into this one. Oh, big hit by the 58. That 44 car still going strong. We saw him advance to these finals through the Conte. That's Lawrence Mitchell from Peru. Well, unfortunately, Rick, that one wasn't down on our list. He was a Conte winner a little bit earlier on, so his car is actually going through its third heat of the day. Still going strong. And if you look at his cars, it's not as bad as some of these others. Some of the guys that have run twice have cars banged up more than his. Six right. and eight cylinder championship event. Traffic jam right now in the middle of the track. We started with 22. We've eliminated about half the field. Many of these cars did not have much left coming into this feature. There comes Chico! Big hit delivered by Chico into the 59. Double O in 58, pushing one car out. Can't see the number. That was a 53. Look out, Garrett with a huge hit. Kurt Seymour trying to refire that 357 car without much success. Ah, uh, Kurt's been stuck there for the better part of, a, I'd say, four minutes. He has not been able to get that thing to refire. Nice hit delivered there by the 58 of Wayne LaRock. LaRock goes after the 53. The 53, that's Chris Musso. Garrett gets hit hard by the 45 car. Great hit there by the 45. Here comes the 40. Kenny St. Germain. Scheduled to drive that 45 car. He was injured in the first heat of the day. Involved in that huge hit with Tommy Bishaw. Oh, huge hit. Paul Richards pinch hit for him earlier on tonight. Jamie St. Mary. In that uh, earlier crash, when he got hit, his head went straight up to the roof of, uh, what was it? Was he driving the hearse or was he driving the car? Bishaw was in the hearse. So St. Mary would have been in the car and his head went straight up into the top of that car. We ran that in slow motion a couple of times and you could actually see Tommy Bishaw get his chest on the steering wheel and hit his head on the dash. That's how violent a hit that was. Yes, very hard hit. B shot right up and over the steering wheel. Bent the steering wheel too. There's a good shot at Chico Martino in the 43. He's still going strong, looking to pick up the big bucks in the six and eight cylinder main event. We're at the Clinton County Fair 2009 Demolition Derby. Outsidegroup.com coverage.
You see the smoke in the screen. That's Ken St. Germain. He may have blown up right there in the 40. Look at the back end of that double zero car. You can't see it right now. But not much left to Harold Garrett Jr.'s back end. But he's still going strong. St. Mary's 45 car. Still putting out the hit. That handicap parking permit is still in place. Well, he may be looking for a closer spot up here. There's a nice hit delivered by the 45A of Paul Richards. I think I would want to stay as far away from that 45 car as possible. Most definitely. I hope he didn't take that car from one of his elderly parents. Richards delivering a hit there to the 43 of Chico Martino. Martino trying to get that car fired. He is parked right here in front of us. That is Jamie St. Mary driving that car, Rob. Oh, it is Jamie St. Mary. Well, good for him. He's able to uh, toughen out the injury for now. When there's this much money on the line, you'll do it with broken ribs. That is correct. Chico Martino gets his machine refired as St. Mary delivers a hit there. St. Mary going to throw it in reverse and try and get back into the 43 of Martino. He's going to go past him. He's just going back and forth right now. We got a red flag out. Looks like it's for the 80. The 80. That's John Mash there. Flames coming out of his machine. So since there's no fire, do they count that as a trip for a fire or no? Back underway. You know, if I was a driver, I'd be confused because the guy standing over there, whenever there's a green flag, he's got a yellow flag and he always waves the yellow flag when it's supposed to go green. Hit. Great hit. That got us dirty up here. St. Mary putting it on the double zero of Garrett. And the double zero continues to run. Well, that double zero been taking many hits today. If you look at the rear end of that car, as you mentioned before, that car has gone in about as far as it's going to go. But that car, there's no quitting on that. That's the 63 of Greg Dustin. He gets together with Jamie St. Mary. Those two are going to rub sides there. St. Mary looking to deliver a good hit here, but we got a fire. Just on the other side of St. Mary's car. Look like, yeah, Ken St. Germain, fire under his car. Hopefully we can get Kenny out of there. Well, with Kenny's car, there are no, mar there's no more sparks, so... We're going to let that go for now. Kenny's trying to get his car going. Jamie St. Germain delivers a good hit into the 63 of Dustin. We may be down to three, Rob. And that three may be down to two. You can actually see. I can't see the field. The 63 of Greg Dustin. The 45 of Jamie St. Mary. Well, Ken, Ken St. Germain, he just got a tap. Maybe he can get loose. But he's been stuck over there. He may be connected with the 80. They continue to pound away at each other. 
Ken State Jermaine, he's wiggling that car. He just cannot get it loose. If you, if you look at the driver right here in this car. He's turned around. He's up out of his seat. He wants to see what's going on. Both of these drivers are from Malone. You think maybe they'll be nice to each other, just call it quits, save the car, and split the booty? I don't think that's going to happen. It's going to be a fight to the finish. That 63 is a multi-time champion in Malone at the Franklin County Fair. St. Mary, a multi-time champion all over the place. And unlike what you've seen tonight, we've been going with two cars, and then we've been throwing the checkered flag. That is not the case in the features. We need to go until there's one car left. The smoke's starting to thicken out of the front end of the 63. So you would think the 45 may be in better shape. Sounds like the 45's done. Yeah, his car's cut. Quit. They may give him some time. Oh, maybe there's a fire. We see some firemen coming out on the track. He took a hard hit there. I don't know if he's trying to restart the car. There's a fire under Yeah, you can definitely see the fire right there under the hood. So they put that out. And if that if that were to start up one more time, then uh, 63, uh, Greg Dustin, he'll win by default. So St. Mary, Mary's St. Got Mary it fired. fired it up. He may have just cut it down because of the fire. No heavy hits at, at this point between these two. Just some light pumping. Now is it the 63 that is quick? Well, I think it has. Yes, it has. As you can see, he's in that car trying to fight, get some gas in the fuel line. Greg Dustin frantically trying to refire that car. Do you know if the shaking your body ever works to jar that car loose? Does that work? As you see, Jamie St. Mary doing a fist pump over there. Dustin's on the clock. It's all over. We have a winner. There he is, Jamie St. Mary from Malone, New York. He wins the big bucks. He is the 2009 Clinton County Fair six and eight cylinder demolition derby champion. And it's got to be very gratifying for him. To get, you know, he gets hurt in the first race. Careful race. on those ribs. Rick Knowles of the OutsideGroup.com studios. Before we get ready to watch the four cylinder final, we want to set the record straight. The driver of car number 73 is Corey Seymour from Plattsburgh. Our roster sheet was incorrect, and we referred to him with a different first name. It is indeed Corey Seymour driving car number 73. All right. We have gotten rid of Rob Knowles and brought Danny Dubuque back. Far more entertaining with Danny with us. Uh, I love the TV section of it. Of course, Weasel said that Danny told too many dirty jokes so they couldn't have him on the microphone. This is the four-cylinder championship. We're ready to go. We were scheduled to have 13 cars. The 99 of Scotty Miller, the 23 of Shane Bombard, Brian Hemingway's five, Jerry Hemingway's 14, Tim Baker's 88, Josh Mashtier's 81, Chico Martino's 43, Zach from Myrtle Beach in the 71, Jason Seymour in the seven, Brad Hathaway the 91, Jason McClatchy the 70, and Sean Bennett the 51, and Jeremy Seymour in the 73. Oh, nice hit on. It's hard to see the numbers now, Rick. They're all dark and they're all mud. There's McClatchy, the pink car. Still can see Gene's teddy bear going for a ride with Jason McClatchy. There's Zach from Myrtle Beach. Hit on the number 14 of Jerry. Jerry Hemingway.
These cars have already been through one battle. Two, some of them, two. At 73 of Jeremy Seymour had to qualify through the Katsi, but he's still running pretty good out there. That's the car that's got the mighty, that had the mighty midget, now it's just got mighty. But Gene's still looking good. Gene's still looking good. I've been rubbed out. Oh, Zach from Myrtle Beach gets to the 14, and I can't see the number on the other car. Here comes Bombard with a big hit in the 23. Yeah, nice hit, but, uh, nice hit by McClatchy on the 83, but I think the 83 has been dead for a while. Yeah, the 83 never fired off the start. But well, Jason doesn't know that, I don't think. <laughs> oh, here's the big hit. Oh, right in the door. He's done. Right in the door. Went after Chico Martino. Chico Martino, yeah, I didn't even know Chico was out there. That's right. going to be the end of the night for the 23 of Bombard. Yeah, he cannot hit in the door. I thought he was going after. Oh, the hard hit between Chico the 14. That's, again, a Ford Escort taking a pounding. Look at Chico's door, wow. McClatchy still running. Zach from Myrtle Beach still running? Yeah, Zach from Myrtle Beach is still running. The 73. Uh-oh, Zach might be done. Oh! Jerry Hemingway in that 14 car. Oh, Chico with a hard hit to McClutcher. Hemingway with a hard hit to McClatchy. Oh, look at how that door is caved in on Chico's car. Oh, the 14's really smoking it up. Yeah, hit that car is flattened at both ends. 83, he's set for a long time. I don't know if that will be legal or not. He was kind of sandbagging, Rick. Right? There's Seymour, 73, still going off to our left. Zach from Myrtle Beach. And Chico Martino and in the 43. And Chico Martino. Look at Chico's door. He's lucky he didn't get hurt. We saw in the heat for the four Oh, we got a smoker down there. That's the 70, what, 14? A good battle between Zach from Myrtle Beach and Chico Martino. Those were the two finalists. They're going at it once again. Oh, good hit from the 83 to Jason McClatchy. Remember how nice looking this 14 was at the beginning of the day? David Hart in the 83, the 14 of Jerry Hemingway. Jerry giving it to Zach from Myrtle Beach. In the 71, McClatchy's car is still running. Seymour's 73 still running. Chico trying to get his 45 going, or 43 rather. Like we're down to four or five. McClatchy's having oh, problems. Oh, we got a fire, a little bit of a fire underneath Chico's. And McClatchy keeps hitting him. Oh, 
Zach Zach from Myrtle Beach got sandwiched. Zach Mason, Myrtle Beach Mason just got sandwiched. How's the teddy bear doing? Look at the rear end of that 83 car. The axle's broken right in half. Is Gene's teddy bear still alive? Yep. 73 is still in this. It better be, because if he doesn't get the teddy bear back, you're going home with him. I, I don't think so. I'm not snuggling with him. <laughs> he would knock the stuffings out of me. <laughs> McClatchy, 70. Hemingway's 14. And Seymour, 73. McClatchy's caught a foot nose looks good on it. I think Zach from Myrtle Beach is done. He should stick his arm though in, in the car. Don't stick your arm outside the car. Will Gene's teddy bear be the good luck for Jason McClatchy? That would be kind of neat. There goes McClatchy hitting right where my name was. And how about that 73 where your name was? He had to qualify for this through the Concy, so this is his third time out there. Look at the nose though, Rick, on that car. It's clean. It's that's that's just where it says Gene. It's clean Gene. It's clean. Look at Jerry's car. Look how squashed that thing is. Now they're squashing Jerry's. Jerry's the meat and the sandwich. Look at the back end of the Peak Mobile. It's a good thing there was no mighty midget there. I do like pink though. I think it looks good on a car. Don't forget, you've already promised next year you're gonna have a big race car at Airborne. My sponsors would probably kill me. <laughs> Not counting my crew. We're down to three, right? Yeah. Jeremy Seymour in the 73, still pounding away on Jason McClatchy and Jerry Hemingway. Oh! At 73, I think he's ending up uh, Jerry Hemming's way. I think he just ended it for him. I think we're down to McClutchy and the... But the 73's been good at protecting his nose all day. Nice job by McClatchy to get out of the box there. Seymour was trying to snooker him in and Jason did a nice job of spinning out of that. Now they're chasing each other around. They're down to two. Down to two. They'll continue on until we have one and he will be named the 2009 Clinton County Fair Demolition Derby four cylinder champion. Seymour in the 73 is done. I keep watching him. Look what he's doing. He's going around in circles so his nose can't get hit. That time he got a little bit, but. He's got to protect that gene on there. Oh, look who's back running. I think he's been done for a while. Oh, he's done. They he's just done. told him he's done. McClatchy's car actually looks pretty strong out there. Yeah, there's no steam. Same in the 73. They both look strong. There's that lucky teddy bear. Yeah. Still got a smile on his face. Boy, if that teddy bear could talk, huh? <laughs> Thank God it can. <laughs> Jason McClatchy in the 70. Jeremy Seymour in the 73. We're down to two. Neither uh -oh. one of those cars. I think, see, I think McClatchy's I think, in trouble. Yeah, it's quit. Jason trying to refire it. You got a good shot right there. I think he's done. I think it's over. He's on the clock. It's over. How about that? Jeremy, Jeremy Seymour. Seymour goes 
through his heat, goes through the Concy, comes into the feature, and wins the 2009 Clinton County Demolition Derby in the four-cylinder division. That is a great effort by Jeremy Seymour, the driver of car number 73. I don't want to take any credit, Rick, but I think it's because I had Mighty Ninja and Gene on the side. Uh, right now on this side, it's only, the Mighty is gone. I just, I'm just an idiot. <laughs> it's idiot. <laughs> I'm a squashed idiot. Well, we want to thank you for joining us for our coverage of the 2009 Clinton County Fair Demolition Derby.